welcome back everyone my name is sagar and we are back here with another video so today is day 189 of our pod series and uh, today's this question name is flattening a link list and this is given a medium level question so if you haven't tried enough questions of link list then uh, this question may be hard for you but this is a very straightforward question so first of all we are given a link list of size n where every node of, every node of this link list represent a sub link list and contains two pointers uh next pointer so what is the normal link list so we have one node and we have a next pointer on that node so that next pointer represent another node and uh, that also have the same thing so after that we have uh, this chain so this whole chain is considered as a link list right so that is a normal link list but uh, today in this question we have a modified link list that have two pointers instead of one pointer so we have one normal next pointer but we also have a bottom pointer so that means there are two link list so something like this so if it is one pointer then we have obviously next pointer but there is also another pointer that is representing bottom so we have another whole link list on our bottom side so there is also a vertical link list and a horizontal link list and after that so there is a condition given each of the sub link list is in sorted order so remember that thing read this thing very carefully only the sub link list is in sorted order so 5 Seven, eight, thirty. So this is sorting. So this vertical link list is sorted, and uh, this is not a guarantee that this horizontal link list will be also sorted. So that is a thing things to notice. And after that, flatten the link list such that all the nodes appear in a single level while maintaining the sorted order. So we obviously have to flatten this link list, and we also have to maintain the sorting order. And uh, there is also very important note: the flattened list will be printed using the bottom pointer instead of next pointer. so that is the key term for this question so you have to read it very carefully that we don't have to sort it in this horizontal order we have to sort it in vertical order that means this 5 7 8 10 and we have to add all the nodes in this link list so we have to sort it in vertical order and uh, i think if we it, if this question was in horizontal order then it may be a difficult question but this is a straightforward question because we have to sort it in vertical order so how can we sort this question how can we solve this so first of all let me just create this i will just copy this one so suppose this is our link list okay that is not a very good looking and uh, suppose this is our link list right and uh, here we have to also okay now that looks like a link list okay so suppose this is our link list and we have to sort it in vertical order so first of all this is our link list this is our one link list 5 7 8 30 and this is our next link list that we have to merge in this so we have two link list and we have to merge this one second one in this first one and we have to create a new link list so that is a very straightforward question i just told you about the solution that this is our first link list and this is our second link list and we will just store the pointer to this next link list right so we will just store the pointer to this 19 and we have this two link list so this is our first this is our second and we have to merge this two link list and the time complexity will be so time complexity of this will be n and this will be m so n plus m and after this the uh, the whole the whole length of this link list will be n plus m and the next next length is n so plus n so the whole time complexity will be n into m so that is how the time complexity of this algorithm will work and we have to just uh, the main concept of this problem is to merge this two link list and we also have to store the pointer to this next one and uh, that is all about our solution so let me just uh, code this very quickly so i will first zoom this so first of all we need our first link list that will be our root so i will just call it as our first link list or we don't have to do that we will just call it as root so just remember that our first link list is this root and our second link list will be so i will just call it as first i will store so our second second link list will change at every step and we have to always store this next so we have to always store this next pointer so that is why i am doing this out of this loop and we have to store next root dot next so we always have to store this next next link list that we will uh, that we will merge in next iteration right so we have to store this next and i will call this next t so that you won't get confused and we have to run a loop while our next t 
is not equal to null. So if our next is equal to null, that means our all the linked lists are merged. And uh, when next is equal to null, so that means there is no another linked list left to merge in our original linked list. So that is our condition. And after that, we have to get our second linked list. So we know that we are we are always storing our next link list, but uh, that is not always our second link list. So first of all, we have to get the second link list, and now we have to store the next one. So next one will be next equal to second dot second dot next, or you can say next dot next. So next dot next because uh, now we have to break the pointer. So first of all, we store this thing, and now we can break the pointer. So second dot next is equal to null so let me just tell you what we are doing here so there are three things that we are doing so let me just tell you so our first step is we are getting a next pointer so let me just clear this thing so first of all we are getting two things so our root is so first of all we have a root that will act as our first link list so our root is pointing to five and after that we are getting a next link list so here is our next so node next t is equal to root dot next so our next t is equal to root dot next that means this is our next t that will be our next next link list next sub link list right and after that we have another thing that will be second so this will be act, acting our uh, as our second link list that we will merge in our original one so we will just use this second so second is equal to next t so that means the second will be this one and after that we have to move our next t so we will just move our next t and break this connection so our next t will be now not here and it will just move ahead so our next t will be here and we will just break this connection so we will just break this connection that means these two link lists are now independent and we have to just merge these two independent link lists according to their bottom pointer so there are now two link lists that is our root so this is our root one and this is our second one and this is here next so that is how we are storing these three pointers root second and next and uh, let me just now merge these things and uh, we have to use here a merge method so i will just create that one and we have to merge the root and this second link list and uh, now remember that thing so this function will not be void because uh, you just know this thing that this horizontal link list so this is not necessary that this 10 is always lesser than this 5 so this is not necessary that the, that the link list is sorted in horizontal order so we also have to update our root value so this uh, this can be the case 5 6 7 and after that we we can have 2 3 4 as our second link list so suppose 5 is our root and this is our second link list so after merging we will have 2 3 4 so we also have to update our root so 2 will be our root so 2 will be our new root and uh, that means this merge function will be will return us a root value and uh, we will just uh, say root is equal to this new head value okay and uh, after that so yeah and after that we will have just again our new root and we also have our next pointer so our next link list will be this 1922 and 50 and we also have our root root pointer as updated so we don't have to do anything more and at last we will just return our root because every time we are updating it to get the minimum value possible in our all link list so we just have to now write this merge function so let me just write this merge function so this will return us a node and uh, the this have first link list and our second link list so now this function is very straightforward and now we just have to merge two link lists in, st in sorting order so that is a very simple question so first of all we will create head and uh, we don't know either this l1 can be null or this l2 can be also null so we are just initializing it with a new node and after that so this is a new node that is not the part of our link list so at last what we will return we will return head dot next head dot next note next we have to manage our link list according to bottom so that means that means whenever i am saying head dot next that means i am writing as uh, writing as head dot bottom so next will be considered as bottom because that is the statement we are given here and after that we have to just get a current pointer that will be equal to head and we have to just merge these two link lists while l1 is not equal to null and l2 is also not equal to null so first of all we will just get if our l1 dot data is lesser than l2 dot data or 
that means our l1 have a smaller value so our current dot next will be l1 and l1 will be moving ahead l1 dot next and our current will also move ahead current equal to current dot next and after this condition in else condition we will just write the same thing but with l2 so if L l2 have a smaller data then current dot next will be equal to l2 and l2 will be moving ahead l2 equal to l2 dot next and current will also move ahead so you can just extract this thing because current is all, all always moving ahead so i will just remove that thing from our conditions and i will write it here so current is always moving ahead and these are the two things that are different and after that either uh, when we are breaking out of this loop either our l1 can be null or, uh, or our l2 can be null so we also have to check this thing if our l1 is equal to null that means uh, if our l1 is not equal to null but uh, that that can be also the case when our l1 and l2 both are null when we are quitting out of this loop so when our l1 is not equal to null then we have to say current dot next equal to l2 so l1 is null that means l2 is not equal to null so current dot next is equal to l2 and we have to write the same condition for our l2 so if l2 is not equal to null okay we have to write here l1 so if l1 is not equal to null then that means current dot next is equal to l1 so l1 is not equal to null and if l2 is not equal to null then current dot next is equal to l2 and at last we have to return head dot bottom and we just have to replace this next with bottom everywhere so everywhere we have to write here bottom and uh, i think that is it so let me just check now okay now our algorithm is working fine and uh, the time complexity is here n into m okay so there is a problem in test case 50 so that is a problem with our test case and not with our code because uh, that according to our test case the link list should be uh, should be merged according to our l1 l1 link list so that means our this link list so this that is our original link list and if we have some same values so that is the problem with our test case in our in our uh, code that is provided by our gfg platform so if we have 5 7 and we have here 3 7 so suppose there is something like this so there are two link lists so what is going on here so first of all we will write 3 then this 5 so first of all this 3 and then this 5 and after that what we will write so these two values are now equal so first of all what we will write so according to according to the code that we are writing we will just consider the l2 value so we will just write current dot bottom equal to l2 so we will, this is our current current dot bottom equal to l2 so we will just write this 7 so we will we are writing this 7 but according to gfg this 7 should be here so that is not a logical thing to have uh, we can write either of seven and uh, the test case should be clear so when when we have to write the uh, when we have to write the seven of this first link list then we have to say even when the values are equal so that is the only thing that we have to remember here even if the values of both the link list are equal then we have to consider l1's value so that is the only thing gfg was missing here and i think the code should be all correct now so the space complexity is O1 here because we are not using any recursion here. So that is it about today everyone. If this video is helpful, go hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel. Only 10, 10 to 15% of the viewers are subscribers. So do subscribe to this channel everyone. And you will just get this code in our DS repository. So just start this one so that you can get all the solutions of Elite Code and GFG platform. So thank you for watching.